Hello, I'm David White and this is a uh, last call for my three Sundays in March on the theme of reimagining shame. A topic I've kept away from for years actually. I've been requested by people to write on shame, especially uh, given all my single word titles in my Consolations volume. And I was down in Costa Rica just a few weeks ago and all week people were were unbeknownst to one another coming up to me uh, privately and asking me if I would speak to the subject of shame. And I've always uh, steered away from it, partly probably because of my uh, Irish background, where there was plenty of shame to go around. Also because the word itself is so searing, it's kind of shameful. But I eventually, uh, when everyone had uh, gone away and I was left uh, to my little jungle cottage there to write, I sat down and started, uh, started digging away. And for the first hour or so, I was just writing all the cliches that we, uh, we're, we know and love our, and are familiar with around shame. And then suddenly I had this very physical immersion, this very physical understanding that I'd lived with shame every day of my life, that it was actually part of our human in inheritance and part of our DNA of actually uh, our identity. That, uh, that uh, shame happens along a spectrum actually. And what we normally call shame is just the deepest, often most traumatic experience of that end, that deeper end of the spectrum. But shame really is just all the ways we feel either consciously or unconsciously, instinctively or intellectually or imaginatively that we don't measure up. Yeah. And we can feel we don't measure up just by not, by not being able to supply a witty uh, end to a conversation that we were part of. And we just think of, of what we should have said, you know, as we're walking away as we, as we usually do. But, but that sense of just, not measuring up and of course it proceeds along this spectrum to that uh, that awful human sense of l sheer loneliness and isolation where you feel you just don't deserve to be here as a participating uh, human being yeah. that there's something actually wrong with you yeah. so i want to look at the way that 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 dynamic of not measuring up is actually uh, not an enemy to our happiness or contentment, but an invitation to look at all the ways that we're distant or far from the very door we need to walk through. That uh, the very sense that we don't measure up is the very doorway through which we will be equal to the life we want for ourselves, to present circumstances, to our responsibilities and to the unknown path in our life that we desire to open up for us. And that if we want it to open up, we actually have to feel that we deserve it. We have to feel we deserve our happiness, our contentment, uh, our, uh, our satisfaction in love, if we're going to actually bring it about in our life. So that's the that's my approach to the reimagination of uh, shame. And we'll be looking at it through three intense Sunday mornings, recorded and live. Please uh, join me. You'll find uh, the link uh, below. And I look forward very much uh, to uh, joining you all for this uh, very, very necessary investigation and one I put off for many, many years myself. Thank you very much. Bye now.